welcome. We're so excited to have you join us for our first Crush on This, where three wine friends gather to share wines they love, stories of the people and places wines are from, food and wine pairing ideas, and other interesting tidbits. We hope you'll crush on this with us. I'm Allison Levine of Please the Palate. I'm based in Los Angeles, and I'm joined with my friend Cindy Reining from Grape Experiences in Chicago, and Christine Campbell from Girls Go Grape in Vancouver, British Columbia. We live in different places, but we share a love of wine and hope to share that with you. So for our very first episode on Crushed on This, we wanted to share with you the first wines that we had crushes on. And for me, that wine is a Brachetto di Acqui. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this wine, but Brachetto di Acqui is from the Acqui region in Piedmont, Italy. I uh, was a au pair in Italy after college. Uh, I had gone to school in Santa Barbara and had tasted wines, but never really could describe what I liked or knew what I liked. I liked things that were sweet and like all new wine drinkers do. And I was an au pair in Piedmont, Italy in a town called Vercelli. And I made some local friends and every day I'd meet them for a pair of TV at five o'clock in the afternoon. And I would be handed this glass of wine. And I'd be handed a glass of wine and I'd look at it and I'd be like, well, it's red. But when I would taste it, it was slightly sweet and slightly effervescent. And I absolutely fell in love with this wine. Every single day I drank this for six months and I came home and found a few in the US market. And years later, it's now readily available. It's delicious with its strawberry notes and cherry aromas. And it's a delicious wine to have with chocolate, with dessert or also savory dishes. And that's the very first wine that I had a crush on. So uh, Cindy, what's the first wine you had a crush on? Well, I love this topic because I think our first crush is kind of the one that makes us want to learn more and to experience it all. And I think wine is so <laughs> full of emotion. So between my junior and senior year in college, I spent the summer studying abroad in Paris and it was an exchange program. I lived with a French family above their jewelry store in, in the little um, arrondissement in Paris. And it was such a glorious experience. And one of those experiences um, was that they took me to the Loire Valley to visit some chateaus. We went to Chenonceau and Chambord and, and so many beautiful places in the, you know, the garden of France. And one of those wines was a Sancerre, another was uh, a Cap Franc. And I just fell in love with this region. It wasn't a specific wine per se, but it was the area. Um, it was beautiful when I was there. It was just gorgeous gardens. And so I found a wine, it's from Anjou. And believe it or not, this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. So it, the diversity of the wines in the Loire Valley just made me so happy because whatever I want, I can find it there. That's great. What about you, Christine? I mean, obviously you're in Canada and maybe we're exposed to Canadian wines, but what was the first wine you crushed on? Um, mine is a specific wine. I did not come from a wine drinking family, but my story is that every Friday, my mom would come home after working her office job. She was a power suit wearer with the shoulder pads and the high heels and the suit. <laughs> and she would get home, I don't know, 536. And she would always have this bottle chilling in the fridge. And it, whenever she got in, she'd pour herself a glass, sit down in this wingback chair we had, kick off her heels, and it was just that moment of looking at my mom and seeing that she was doing something for herself. And that connection with wine was just so impressionable on me at a young age. And <laughs> when I turned 18, my mom said, hey, what some of the things you'd like for your birthday? And I asked for a bottle of her wine, which at the time, was Lindemann's Bin 65 Chardonnay from Australia. Um, it's interesting, it started my path to being a Chardonnay aficionado. I'm now hardcore Chardcore, and it started with that. With that. So I've kind of come a long way, baby. <laughs> I think, I think we've all come a really long way in, in wine. Um, we've all made, a, wine is our passion, but also something we love to share with other people. And um, I know that I haven't had the Lindemann Chardonnay, but I am a Chard fan, so I found my way there anyway. Um, yeah. 
But I think it's great that we all have our stories and I thank everyone for joining us today. We invite you to share with us that first wine you had a crush on and we hope you'll join us again on Crush on This. See you soon. Bye.